hope this idea works. Roses this time of year are ridiculous. Well, you could have always showed a complete lack of imagination and got her another poinsettia. Oh, very cute. <laughs> Leslie? Maybe she's upstairs. She do leave you sharp a note? No, it, it is a note, though. She left it at the top of the stairs on the newel post. She's left. What do you mean she's left? Where'd she go? She didn't say. All she says is that she needed some time to think things over. And for me not to worry. Leslie there? No, I mean, did she come back? Well, it's a bit involved, Jesse. She was here, but she left, and I thought maybe she had gone back there. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. What would you have done if the situation had been reversed, and you'd have to spend the whole night worrying and wondering and playing host to all of those people? To begin with, I would have trusted you. I'm not being sanctimonious, Leslie. Honey, I realize that you got your hands full with Laura and it's got you uptight, but it's not fair to take it out on me. Laura well, doesn't have anything to do with it. Well, something's got you spooked, otherwise you wouldn't be thinking the way you are. Monica? I mean, instead of worrying about me being hurt or dead or alive, you're worrying about me being with Monica. That's not true. I was worried sick about it. I don't doubt that you were worried sick, but about what? All the wrong things. Hey, have you heard from Leslie yet? No. Hey, look, old buddy, I'm, I'm not trying to pry, but <clears throat> is there something wrong between you guys? I mean, have you been having words? <sighs> yeah, we had words. The wrong ones. And I said all of them. David, it's just that I hadn't slept all night. I was tense. I was exhausted from being out in the wilderness all night, not knowing whether we'd be able to get back or not. And when I finally did get back, you know, my reception committee was that, that reporter from the newspaper with all that dumb publicity. It's absurd. Yeah, it sounds like a rerun of Leslie's night. She was so exhausted from worrying about you and taking care of all those guests, she fell asleep right here on the couch. I found her here this morning. Judging from the looks of her, she had a pretty rough time of it, too. You know, I should have come home. I should have let Monica take the pilot to the emergency unit. I should have, I should have, but why didn't I? If I had, Les and I could have talked this whole thing out, and I could have dodged that reporter. Hey, look, it's kind of pointless to belabor all the ifs and the I should haves. Look, why don't you just ease up on yourself? Look, now, do you have any idea where she might be now? Believe me, if I knew where she was, I'd be on my way there. Look, you don't have to go back on duty right now, do you? No. All right, let me fix you a little of this, kind of help you relax. You know, it seems to me that that note spelled it out pretty clearly. She just needs a little time to think and sort things out. She's probably just out there driving around somewhere. David, she was upset. She's been having problems with Laura. I, I should have been more understanding. I should have been. There I go again. Uh, I hope she comes home soon so I can tell her what a, a dummy I've been. You know, I, I wonder if I should call Laura. Now, what do you want to call her for? Why don't you just relax, huh? Now, she's probably at Scotty's place. Maybe she ought to know about Leslie's note. Now, what's the point worrying Laura? Leslie will be back before Laura even gets home. That's the exact point. Laura won't be here, and Les will have another reason to get up tight. Well, David, you know, I, I should have been more help to Leslie where Laura's concerned. Look, I doubt that Laura would have thanked you for the interference. Besides, I must say, though, you know, if Laura were my daughter, I mean, I, I'd really think twice about allowing her to spend so much time with Scotty Baldwin alone. Hey, Scotty's a nice kid. I trust him. <laughs> yeah, we were nice kids, too. Do you think any sensible mother would have trusted her daughter with either one of us? <laughs> huh? <laughs> what, what about Shirley? <laughs> yeah, I, 
I should have told Leslie about her, too. Maybe that's what I'll do when she comes back. And what for? Because I think she ought to know. Hey, come on, Rick. It was a long time ago. It's all forgotten now. At least by everybody but you, it seems. Now, look, in time, you're going to forget about it, too. I doubt it. Well, you know, when I had you standing guard at the stairs. I looked in, and there on the bottom were birth control pills. Okay, that's still no reason to jump to the conclusion that she's using them. Well, Rick, of course she's using them. How do you know that? Because she admitted it. Well, she had as much as admitted it. She didn't deny it. Is, uh, is Scotty with you? No, he dropped me off and left. Where were you? When? Just now. You were lost in thought, a million miles away. Did you have a good time? Where's Leslie now? I don't know. You mean you haven't heard from her since she wrote this? Nope. Oh, Rick, sorry. So I've been sitting here doing a comprehensive review of all my faults as a husband. Make room for a daughter. It's my fault Leslie's done this. No, no. Yes, it is. I mean, last night we had another one of our discussions. Arguments is the better word. Conflict. Anyway, I, I wasn't very understanding about her point of view. Well, I've been a little myopic myself, and a little stupid. No, I think it would have been better for everyone concerned if I had never come here at all. Hey, come on, that's no way to talk. I've made nothing but trouble for Leslie. <laughs> now she hates me. Laura, she loves you. When you're concerned, anything she's done is a, a direct result of her love for you. So don't be whipping up guilt feelings for yourself. Hey, I'm the one that's let things get out of hand. I wanted us to be a family. And I thought that we could... we could share our thoughts. I took it for granted that we'd share our feelings and share our love. But those type of things have to be worked at. They cannot be taken for granted. Now, you've been wonderful to Leslie and me. Now, I know that part of the problem has been David. His being here. I, I shouldn't have invited him in before we had a chance to... well, to be together as a family. But I'm gonna straighten that out, honey. You mean ask David to leave? No, he, he planned on leaving shortly. I'm going to do everything I can to help him find a place of his own. Oh, I hate to see David go, but if you think it's for the best... Well, I think it is. And I think something else, young lady. I think when Leslie comes back, you ought to sit down and have a, a thorough talk with her and work all these things out without a big emotional crisis, okay? I'll try. Do you think she's all right? I mean, how long has she been gone? No, she'll be back. She's just upset because of you and, and me and, and maybe both of us. But it doesn't matter. She'll be back because she loves us. Now, you feel better? Yeah. <laughs> we all will. And we can sit down and have a real family get together. Now, I'm going to give Peter and Diana a call because I know that Leslie's been talking about seeing them. She left a minute ago. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sure I could have gotten her home a lot faster than that bus will. I don't think she was headed for home. You home? Yeah. I'm home. I won't even 
tell you how much I missed you. Because you wouldn't believe me anyway. I'm sorry. Oh, I missed you, even if it was only for one night. You promise not to do anything like that again? Even if I beat you? Yeah, I promise. Promise not to beat me. <laughs> it's a deal. When you're not here, I'm not really alive. Me too. I do say so myself. David, you are without a doubt a perfect house guest. <laughs> but this wasn't instantly available. I think I would have gone back to sleep. <laughs> oh, geez. Here's to the new day. I'll drink to that. Oh, oh Rick, uh, did you get a chance to talk to Jeff about the apartment yet? Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, he was off yesterday, and I had a full day, but I'll check with him today. Okay, I appreciate it. You know, this is pretty good coffee. Oh. Uncle, I'll have another cup. I told David how grateful I was that he had uh, left us to ourselves last night. Mm hmm You think it was deliberate? Absolutely. You practically admitted it. You know something? When I first met David... I found him very difficult to understand. I really had a hard time making contact. But I don't know, lately he's, he has been so kind and so thoughtful and considerate and eager to please. It's like it's a whole other person. I'm glad to hear that, honey. When I first meet him, most people don't realize how sensitive he is to other people's feelings. Oh, I can see that now. Sometimes he seems to anticipate my feelings before I'm even aware of them myself. Oh. 